you still have no idea how to maximize your use of ChatGPT, don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of ChatGPT settings you probably didn't even know about. But first, hit follow and save this video later so you can walk through it step by step. First thing you're gonna do is open up these settings. We'll start with general. So this is stuff like your theme, accent, color, language. Next, go to personalization. And this is where you can have custom instructions that ChatGPT will take into account in its answer. If you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of options related to memory. So you can have ChatGPT reference saved memories, reference your chat history or not, if you wanna turn that off. I'll click connectors and you can actually hook up ChatGPT with a bunch of productivity tools that you use. And so you can ask questions questions about your data to ChatGPT and it will actually answer based on, for example, what's in your Google Calendar or what's in your GitHub or what's in your Google Drive. Now this section is really important, data controls. You generally want to turn this off, improve the model for everyone, turn that off. You can't do it if you're on the free plan, but if you're on the paid, you want to turn that off. And this is where you can archive chats, delete chats, export your data. The last area I'll talk about is parental controls. This is where parents and teens can link accounts and you have tools to adjust certain features, set limits, and add safeguards. Number two, I kind of skipped over schedule. So this allows you to create recurring tasks that ChatGPT will, will ping you about. And then orders, if you're using ChatGPT for shopping purposes, you'll see your orders there. Make sure you hit follow if you want more ChatGPT tutorials.